Hello, all you wonderful people. My name is Barry Infos, and welcome to the last episode of my OHKO Vice City playthrough. This is a full playthrough of the game where I complete the the main star missions basically and in order to complete the main star missions I need a minigun because without the minigun this mod is in insane. So in the last episode I, I bought Malibu Club and I finished all the missions for Malibu Club and today I'll finish all the few missions and lastly complete the final mission in the game. Let's see how many times this time I'll die with the minigun. Without the minigun I died like almost 20 times pretty sure, so let's see how many times I'll die without, I mean with the minigun. Yeah, we shall see. Today we're gonna get the answer tap, answer phone call, oh 5,000 bucks! Yes. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am Tom. Don't I sound Tom? Must be impending death to turn this to my voice. That's me, Mr. Cum, Mr. Cum. <laughs> That's from GTS San Andreas. Real fucking cum. That's me, Mr. Cum, Mr. Cum. Yes, yes, Mr. Cum. <laughs> That's from a cutscene in San Andreas. If you haven't played San Andreas, you should play San Andreas. What are you doing without... Well, what are you doing watching this video if not uh, playing San Andreas? Go play San Andreas and then go play Vice City if you haven't played Vice City. In, in which case, why are, you, why are you watching Vice City? If you haven't played the game. Ooh, ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice. Let's take the Petro. This is the hardest mission of Phil's place. So there's two missions. This is the hardest. The harder of the two. We have to destroy... Hello! We have to destroy a few trucks. Four trucks to be exact. And we have the Scooter Mafia too. And the Scooter Mafia is... Uh, gonna kill us if we don't... Watch out. And I'm shooting from a distance. Again, I should have gotten a sniper, but... This whole playthrough I hadn't gotten a sniper at all. So I'm worried about the Scooter Mafia. So I said, oh, let's be careful here, let's be right next to my car, pick up these as quick as possible and then get back into my Jeep. Okay, let's go. Got one star, which shouldn't be an issue. I scooter mafia, I saw the scooter mafia. Right, now I have to go and destroy these guys. Just explodes. I have to first get... Oh, oh, that was stupid. Run away! This was super dangerous. It's a good... Oh, 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 oh he died. Yep, first death. Yep, we have a death in this episode too, guys. Is that the last death? Uh, you're gonna see, I'm not gonna spoil it. I could die three, four, five million times more. Yeah, I have uh, quite a bit of deaths. Not as many as the San Andreas playthrough. Definitely way less than the San Andreas playthrough, which I did last summer. Which I'm also gonna continue to 100%, yeah. 100% here I come for San Andreas. Also, why didn't I change my outfit? I am not with my signature outfit. In this playthrough I have the the purple sh sh shirt. The purple shirt. I should have put it on, but no, I was trying to hurry and complete this as quick as possible so I can start. I don't dress, I was so excited for San Andreas, honestly. Also I parked too far away. Let's go, closer. Yeah, like I said, this uh, is the harder of the two missions because you have to be on foot sometimes, not always. Actually, isn't it better just to shoot this with the rocket launcher? Isn't it better? Oh, watch out! That could have killed me. Ooh, he didn't, which is nice. Also, watch out, the Scooter Mafia is coming, guy. Uh, guy? <laughs> Dude. Yeah. My Jeep disappeared, which is kind of annoying. It happens. It has happened before. Scooter Mafia! 
I think it actually happens in my walkthrough too. It's kind of unfortunate that it disappears. Because it's stronger in this crap and it's faster in this crap and it's just better in this crap. Excuse me, die. Good, ooh, nice gun. I want it, I want it. Actually, I wonder, oh, oh. I wonder, oh, bonus, yay. Anyway, I wonder if with this gun I just picked up, if it's gonna be the same as with the minigun. Is it as strong as a minigun? It's not as strong, but is it gonna work the same? Hmm. I wonder. This could have killed me so easily too. It didn't, but still I'm smoking and I have to watch out. So I said, okay, let's go to the left and pick up a different car because this car is a piece of crap right now. I have to also destroy it. And unfortunately there was no car here. I think the enforcer spawns. Yeah. So I said, okay, screw it, I'm just getting here, getting the helicopter and I'm gonna fly to the other destinations and shoot from the roof. I think this is a very good idea because if I go on foot, all on the street, it's gonna suck. So I saw this dude and I said, hey, come here, I'll, I'll kill you. Also I should watch out because these guys are still shooting at me. Also this dude is trying to get up. Yeah, nice. Bonus 100, yeah, yeah. I think two of them uh, died. Did I get two bonuses? I think I heard two explosions, apart from the pickup truck. So three explosions thought, I don't know how many I heard. You can tell me. Oh, and go backwards, bam, nice. Sneak bastard! <laughs> I'm. Oh, you're so smart. Instead of staying on the ledge and shoot with the gun, I threw a grenade, which I'm not gonna use for the last mission because I can't. Actually, for Sony, I should have used that. Oh, the scooter mafia is coming, I'm not going on foot. But yeah, for Sony, I could have used. A grenade. Just go backwards and shoot with a grenade. Yeah, as you can see, this is a very strong weapon, so I could have used that for the last mission and not have to complete this one. But this one and the next one are pretty easy, so it's okay to complete them. I mean, after this point, I have pretty much completed the mission. And the next mission is easy, so why not complete them both? So yeah, I did that. Parking carefully. Tommy, Hello. Bill, I cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me. You hear? Good. I got me some extra shrink of boonshine nearing fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy. If you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. I am hiding here because of the rival gangs who can shoot at me, but I don't think they can because I haven't completed Umberto's missions and unfortunately I stole this. I didn't want to steal it, but I said, ah, screw it, I have a scooter. So I just go, it's close enough, so why not? And landing a helicopter here is not an easy task, so... I just take the scooter. And I just have to reach two destinations. This is it for this mission, nothing to it. The next mission, however, is difficult. Oh, so difficult, oh, oh, oh so difficult. Field Scout. Yeah. After this mission I'll have access to a minigun and this is the least of the boring ways of getting it. I could have gotten it with packages, the minigun. Or do actual fun missions and get it that way. 
60 packages gives you the minigun or I think 6 missions 4 for Malibu Club and uh, 2 for Phil give you the minigun or alternatively you could pass Umberto's missions I don't know how many but you have to explore the factory after you explore it you get access to a minigun or again alternatively you could cheat the system and uh, exploit some replays with a rhyme page that also works but I'm not gonna do that that's too cheaty for my tastes Cone crazy uh, you could say it's cheating too I don't view it as cheating because it's in game intended mechanics you're intended to get two times the previous amount with each uh, complete with each time you get a better time basically each time you get a better time you get double the previous amount that's intended mechanics so I am not exploiting it technically uh, yeah I don't consider this exploiting but you may have a different opinion which is okay as the beauty of video games, you can play it however you want. And some people are gonna bitch at you for having a different opinion because they're stupid. If you like Vice City Stories the most, that's okay. I don't. I think it's the worst GTA game. I love it still, but I think it's the worst. But if you do, if you like it, that's fine. That's a different opinion. Anyway, this is the reward uh, again. Funko. Now it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. Gimme, give gimme, give woo! Ten thousand bucks, and that's definitely enough. Stop, 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 dude! That's enough. You're wasting cash. Oh, I have eighty, uh, almost eighty thousand. How much is the film studio? Because in the future I have to continue, uh, if I'm gonna continue this to 100% I have to buy the film studio, which I I'm actually gonna buy it after I complete other side missions, if I'm gonna go for 100%. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it after I complete a bunch of side missions. Anyway, enough about that, let's go to the last mission. Oh, so excited. Let's see how many times I'll die here. So far I have died once in this episode. In the last episode I died... Was it five times or six? I can't remember. I think it's six times. And here so far I have died once. So far. <laughs> Let's see. It's currently also night time, which I'm gonna make it daytime and dress up to... Dressing up is great. Oh, and also get some cash. Yes, I think it's 5,000. Yep, 5,000. Good, I have more than 80,000. I think it's 60,000. The film studio. Can't say. Oh, our signature shirt. So good. Alright, guys. Are you prepared? The last mission in the game with a minigun. Oh, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So the first thing, like always, is to stand right here and not move a muscle, I think it's for 40 seconds? This is the boring part of this mission, but after they spawn you have to watch out. This is a pretty boring part, I decided not to speed it up because it's, you know, pretty much the end of the video, so I wanted to show you the whole thing. So I think it's 4 seconds, did you count guys, did you see when I started, when I started waiting? Yeah, I'm checking the weapons to see how many times I have to scroll for the minigun, it's 2 times, downwards, alright, 2 times, and I have to hide, I could stay here and try to shoot them this way, but other people are gonna shoot me, so that's not a good you idea. To cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah, I think so. Okay, first of all, height. Second of all, stand right here, shoot him, and that instantly kills him, guys. 
I don't have to chase them also took that shirt by accident. But yeah, I don't have to move. I don't have to chase them, which was the hardest part of this mission. What I do is I st I'm, I decided to stay here because they keeps they keep spawning and I have enough ammo to do to do this, so why not? And this is pretty much on a timer. I'm pretty sure you don't have to kill them all, you just have to stay in here for a certain amount of time and then the mission continues. I wasn't sure, so don't quote me on it. I have never done this mission this way. Yep, there we go, it was on a timer, I'm pretty sure. This is Sony. You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. And, guys, this was it. Can you see how extremely easy this mission was with the minigun? Let's watch the final cutscene, or I'm gonna skip it in a little bit. Ah! Tommy, Tommy! Yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. This is it for the full plate. I completed the whole game with one hit point. Not at 100%, of course, but still, the whole game with one hit point. I hope you guys enjoyed the final death counter for this series is on the screen right now. It's not as much as the San Andreas one, it was 137 I'm pretty sure on the San Andreas OHK summer mod playthrough, but here it is a lot less. Also the characters look so good, I love how they look, they shine. Yeah. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! Tommy! What do you think it means? That we're in charge! I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Uh -huh. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. Oh, I can bet on it. You're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ain't it just beautiful? It is, like you. Anyway guys, this was it. Oh, such an awesome thing. Awesome feeling and 30,000 bucks and guys, it's complete, it's done, let's celebrate with some explosions. <laughs> yeah guys, this was it, thank you so much for watching, for sticking around and in the first episode I asked you guys to guess how many times I'll die in this playthrough. Let's see what you guys guessed. These are all the guesses on the screen. 216 people participated with 129 unique guesses. You were able to participate after I uploaded the first episode and before I uploaded the second one. The people who guessed too late were not entered in the giveaway. The guesses ranged from 9 deaths to a thousand billion deaths. The most had the number 123 with a whole 8 people guessed guessing it. But no, the actual death counter is 39 and the winner of the guessing game is Fabian Provost. Congratulations dude, you are the winner! As promised in the first episode of this series, the winner will get a gift from me and that is one of the games GTA 3, Vice City or San Andreas. You, Fabian, want GTA San Andreas as a gift, so your job now is to leave your Steam account name in a comment of this video you, since YouTube removed the private message feature, just leave a comment. Alternatively, you can leave your Twitter name and DM me there your Steam account if it's too private to you for a YouTube comment. If you don't contact me in two weeks, I'll choose a different winner. Thank you everyone who participated and supported this series. I had a blast guys and may continue to 100% in the future. Thank you for watching and thank you all my lovely Patreon supporters. Alex Chavez, Scumbag Yayo and everyone else listed on the screen. I'll see you in the next episode.